Hey everybody, how you doing? We're playing a brand new game of Civilization VI. I'm going to create a game. And um, I do have quite a ton of different uh, mods going. And I probably before I do this, I should go back and show you what mods I have. In case you're interested. They um, typically go to uh, additional content. Go to mods. Um, um, and of course, I have all the ones that come standard. I'm sure the ones that are not standard, I have a number of these. Um, I do have the cheap cheats off, and um, some aren't uh, compatible, like Red Steel and Thunder. Doesn't seem to be compatible. Real People seems to work. Government expansion works. Um, and of course, the most important of all, yet not another. Maps pack, which is probably the best maps pack there is. Uh, it's just a great um, map of the real Earth, and um, we're going to play with that today. I'm sure you how to do that. You go to start. You go to start single player game. I'm going to create a game, and um, I wanted to play as Japan. And I'm going to do this as a um, kind of an Axis and Allies type type game. Um, if you're familiar with the board game Axis and Allies, um, of course, don't have any ties to Axis and Allies. But there's five distinct groups or players in this Axis and Allies game. We're going to keep it on Prince, which keeps about balanced as far as the speeds go. But um, the map I'm going to use is yet not another map pack, Giant Earth. Um, I do have um, a appropriate Vita card that should handle this. Although it does seem to crash quite often. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on that and I'm going to select it. And then you have to click Advanced to select your fellow leaders. So after Japan comes Teddy Roosevelt, then Peter, and then Germany, and then Britain. We're going to cancel that out. I'm going to go ahead and make about 25 other um, city-states. Um, resource placement is going to be map generated. Going to... Um, place all luxuries and we want abundant resources and um, there are some customizations for each individual uh, like we want to close the boss straight, strait create cattle for great Zimbabwe um, it allows for a more traditional game I'm putting on it uh, domination victory is the only way to play, as would be Axis and Allies, and Barbarians are going to be on, and a turn limit off. So this should get very interesting very fast. Um, the difference is there's no teams. Um, you can set the teams. Um, but we're not going to do that. So now we start the game. I do want to say that a game of civilization can take days. From um, the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps 
you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. The great wave of Buddhism follows you, Shikan of Japan, Hojo Tokimun. Your people truly understand what it is to practice balance, and even your finest samurai will be well learned and spiritually apt. Be strong, embrace the divine wind, and you will reach enlightenment. So now I'm just basically waiting for the game to launch. Unfortunately, being the map is so large, it takes a little while to load. Um, you really do need a really beefy machine in order to get this working. Um, Japan is very hard to play no matter what. Um, it's uh, very difficult, complicated to play. I've never won, um, just to let you all know, I've never won this. Russia is um, domineering. Um, and the uh, United States typically seems to stay back. Um, We'll see what happens. But I predict the game will crash way before we um, get into it. But we're going to go up until we crash. And uh, see how it goes. As you can see, loading time is quite tedious. Even with all my... Um, uh, M2 drive. Um, I got a Ryzen processor. Got a Vega 64 card, and um, it still takes a long time. But I did uh, recently read that the Intel 9900 KS is the best processor to play this game with. Um, So don't forget to subscribe. Maybe I can one day I could upgrade to a five hundred dollar processor and a three hundred dollar motherboard. And uh, please hit that subscribe button and definitely click the like. Um, I know it's about to launch. Whenever I hear my video card ramp up, you'll hear the fans all of a sudden start whirling and. And, uh, but in the meantime, we're just waiting. Should be a whole lot of fun. And the video card's ramping up. Fans just kicked on. And there we go. And we got our first settler. The year is 4000 BC. And we're going to go ahead and develop. Our first city. Gonna send out our troops. And in this case, I want to get pottery going and build a monument. And it's the year 4000 BC. And now it's the year 3920. And here's something. We have a tribal village. 
You want to get to those tribal villages. They unlock um, special things. And they share the secrets of a well-organized community. And they progress towards foreign trade has advanced contribute considerably. Oh boy. There's tea here. Of course, that requires irrigation. We're still working on pottery in 3680 BC. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. And now, we have pottery. We have one turn left until the mining is finished. And, um... It's a tough choice. But we're going to go with astrology. Religion is very important in this game. We could build a great bath. Or we could build a granary. Which adds plus one to food. And we do want to build as fast as possible. Um, so let's worry about Kyoto and let's build a granary. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. So now we have code of laws in our civics. Now we'll choose a new civic and we'll choose craftsmanship. And we want a plus five when fighting barbarians. And we're selecting God King as our economic policy, which gives a plus one to faith and plus one to gold in the capital. And there's nothing out there. So we're going to send him back. It's going to take eight turns. Roughly, probably 500 years <laughs> to return him back. Time is just looking down, 3200 BC. And now let's go ahead and build a builder. I know it says build a settler, but get that builder going. We're going to need to farm. And here we have a mega colossal eruption. Volcano went off in our lands. We have nothing nearby. So we're okay. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed. So now we have that going. We're going to go with the state workforce. Politics is something. A physician in without a knowledge of astrology has no right. So we get that rice. Farmland. And now we're going to go for writing. We're going to build a holy site. And there's a plus. So you got your bonuses here. And we're going to go ahead and start building right here. Right next to that volcano. The volcano stops going off on us. And build more farmland. And 
now we are going to build another settler. Get our troops back to town. And it was right around 300 years to get that troop back. So we get a Pantheon. I like to select the God of Craftsmen. Um, get a plus one to production and a plus one to faith from strategic resources. Of course, we can't see any, but we haven't developed that far yet. But we are working on a religion. I'm going to send this warrior up to research up in there. I could have sent him to the whales, but um, I need to build. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce as it is to have a profitable bottom line. Yep. Now we're going to develop our military a little bit more. But this is where we also get a governor. And um, for capital, I have quite a few of them. Um, and I, my personal favorite to get for a capital city is Magnus. And um, I'll tell you why as soon as we get another point him. Doesn't say too much anything, but we're going to put him in Kyoto. He's assigned, and it's going to take him five turns to get established. One turn away from getting writing means share settler. We're gonna take that settler and we're gonna put him down here. And let's research irrigation. Oh, sailing. Now we need a government. We need um a campus where our wonderful people can study. Lots of resources up in northern Japan. On the other side of Japan, look at that. We had a 1,000-year flood. Japan's just notorious for natural disasters. And there we go. We have our bravery campus. is being the only one who knows. Let's go with foreign trade. And um It's recommended that we get another settler. But we need that religion. As you notice, the year is 2080 BC. And I promise it is not you. that life for sure is. We are behind. Now we need currency. Develop a marketplace. Every nation lives. So now we have that foreign trade action going on. And we're ready to build our second city. Right next to this volcano. Fukukuakra, whatever I use to pronounce it. Don't want to insult any of our Japanese people, but you pronounce that. Mm -hmm. We'll develop mysticism. 
They're also going to build a holy site. Not on top of the wheat. And now we're going to build a library. We have a 4.2 surplus of food, which is fantastic. But unfortunately, I like to say I practice militant. We're just in a normal age. We're not having a golden age. And we definitely need that religion. Now developing an early, early empire. Fifteen twenty BC. But we're only developing one point seven gold per turn, so we need a trader. Trader will make a route to now we get a bonus for currency. Wealth consists not in to allow us to build currency. Uh, in a marketplace. Haven't even developed mining yet, so we don't know where that precious iron is. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? There's that mining... and get that animal husbandry going. We're going to send it back. Send this warrior back. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. <laughs> of course, the only place we can send it, which gives us a plus one to production and plus one for food. And now let's go ahead and get a political philosophy going. And now to build that settler. Remember I told you about the governors? Well, we're gonna promote this governor. Every time you build a settler, it consumes population. We don't want that. So, with the provision from this governor, settlers trained in the city do not consume a population. It is now 1280 BC. The man who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation... have that. Now we can develop these resources. So we need another builder. We need a builder there to begin with. I am fond of pigs. Wow, it's looking pretty sad. Now we finally get our first great people, which is the great prophet Zoroaster. We're going to take him. Send him up there. We are going to found a religion. Of 
course, the Japanese are known for Shinto. So let's go ahead and develop Shintoism. Which creates... I'm going to get a plus one work ethic. Uh, plus two to science if we get Watt. What have I got this horrible feeling there's going to be a natural disaster? Settlers ready to go. Send them up there. Gonna put our warrior back in town. And we get a chance to build a government plaza. Put that government plaza there. Being as I want to put the harbor here. I mean, commercial here and possibly a harbor there in the future. You want to plan out your, um, there's adjacency bonuses for everything that you have. Very important. <laughs> What's next to each other? And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. Now we have that wonderful uh, sailing, and now we're going to build shipbuilding. We need a builder, and Magnus has another promotion. Let's get that food growth in the city. Plus two. Fortify that warrior there. Nine hundred eight fifty BC, and we now have a scientist. Hypatia. Libraries provide plus one science instantly, and builds. We already have one. They do not. And we also have insufficient anemones in both towns. In other words, the people are bored. Uh, I'm going to save it. Well, we're going to send them up with this new town we're going to develop up here. Build the library. And make that library completely kick butt. But we need these luxuries. And um, I'm going to build another builder. Divide and rule a sound motto. Now we have our Unite and lead a better one. Government unlocked. And in this case, being that we don't really have any enemies nearby, which is a blessing, I'm going to go with a oblarchy, oligarchy. Um... Which is a all around it's rounded out pretty good we want to get that production going it's our wild card policy and we want two influential points 
influence points per turn. Although we haven't met any yet. But rest assured they're out there. So I'm going to send him to develop this searches. This one is developing T. And now we have our... city here, and we're going to build a campus. And next to the mountain, it's going to get plus two. Put him in it. And he's going to wait there. Let's put him to sleep there until it gets built. It's going to take a long time anyway. But once it's done, it's going to be incredibly awesome. And, um... going to build an ancestral hall which when you build a new city will give you a free settler a free builder and we want to develop these whales develop these oranges citrus And all of a sudden, the people are no longer bored. And we now have whales. And we're now going to have dyes. Let's send that settler here to mine this wheat. Look at that, horses. Look at that. Plus three to building a campus. I mean, a commercial hub. That's awesome. More food. And more food. These people are hungry. Got to feed them. Cannot imagine anything. So now finally we have shipbuilding. Oh, sorry if I went too fast there. Um, it's recommending bronze working. It's not a bad idea. Send that worker over here to this fish. And... Our holy site is not an appropriate spot. build another settler because we're going to develop it here on this island. And you want to keep promoting this governor also. We're kind of going beyond our we have now, but it's good to have it. Um, we're going to promote oh, the black marketer, of course. Strategic resource cost for new units are 80% discounted. is the mirror where's that iron at we have iron so it means one of these cities or one of the f our districts is built on top of it so in this case we're going to send this one this trader to up north, you 
Yakoti. Yoke. And now this builder is going to... Horses. And we are going to develop the wheel in 450 BC. Which I thought was kind of funny and silly. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's going there. Building relatively fast. Sometimes the we if bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Let's get that iron working going. Drama and poetry. The people do need culture. monument and if we use him here it's gonna actually build a library and that library gets plus one so that library is really kicking out you can't see it because we have an overlay wants to put the city there, but I think it'd be better to put the city there. Um, and I think the city would go better there, although it is subject to flooding. In our commercial hub. That's a crazy bonus, plus five. That's just a crazy bonus. But what would we lose? And it is susceptible to flooding. I think I would rather build it here. On higher ground. And we didn't build it. The Lord so made us all out of iron. Okay. We need our archers. We got another great person. We got another scientist. What does he do? Three bonuses construction, machinery, and buttress, which is dams. Now we have our settler here. In Chiba. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and develop that iron. And we're going to purchase this land here. For 40. Purchase that. It wants us to immediately build a harbor. And yes, I agree. Shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. Let's develop mathematics. 150 BC. Let's get a water mill going.
If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of the poets have been mysterious. Great. Now we got that guy here. Settler, and we're gonna build a city here. We're gonna set our builder there to get the horses. Now we're forced to be reckoned with. But we're gonna need some engineering. Because pretty soon we're gonna head over to the main island, the mainland. Start developing where China would be. We're gonna put a water mill in our capital. And I'm gonna build a going against the grain here, what they recommend. That's what's so great about this game is um, your decisions are really, really important. Every decision you make has a major effect in the game. Like, um, did we build another shrine here? I don't think so. I think we should build a market. Oh. Nope, we need production up. I'm not going to tell you guys yet what I have planned. Fukukakawa. <laughs> that is not a curse word. That's the name of their town. Now we've entered the medieval era. And we are once again in a normal age. But... We're going to be building a lot of districts now. So every time we build one, it'll give us plus one to our score. And oh yeah, we're going to build a market. I was just to build more traders. Now we're voting against who? Against what? I don't know. Of course, we're going to choose our religion. We're not going to create as much. We haven't met anyone yet, so this is kind of pointless. But we did get the religious bonus. One man's magic, man suffers only because he takes seriously. Well, the gods made for fun. Theology is important, so that allows us to build a temple, which allows us to build apostles, which allows us to advance religion even more. But we're going to go with um, machinery. And we're going to go with quarter history. And... We need a builder. Put this plus one production up here. And give us a wild plus two to science. To a scientist every turn. have bananas we already got a great person coming which is a scientist Japan go with them scientists and there's that temple really have anything to build there. Um, very little room on that island. 
But we can build a commercial zone right there. Developing that money. I'd imagine the whole world is... Let's go with masonry. When wasteful war shall statues, I've lived through some terrible town called Chiba. Which is amazing because my favorite Japanese actor is a gentleman by the name of Sonny Chiba. If you guys have ever seen that movie, Street Fighter, it's not the video game Street Fighter. It came out way before really video games were a thing. Um, This time we've developed a little bit with military. Build a cabinet way up here. Gonna build a lighthouse next to there. Uh, we need a granary. And here we go. We don't have technology yet. Industrial industrialism. Still got two arrows left to go, but we're a little bit ahead. And now we're going to build another settler here to start going over here. That would be Korea. Of course, Korea is not in this game. This is Axis and Allies. An architect should live as little in cities as a painter. Those who in quarrels interpose. Cartography. Let's build a shrine. Let's build a traitor. Defensive tactics. Really moving along now. The game's really trudging. Got five great cities. send that over to what would be South Korea. Build a lot. And now something you guys, you guys may not know, but religion is important. I've stated it before. So we're going to purchase an item with religion. In order to do that, you want to go down here to this little token down here and click on it and we have 624 religion points and it only takes 200 to build an apostle it takes another 200 to build another apostle and we can build that watt with religion and now we can build a dam later on the game does build electricity build a dam over here and now this apostle can evangelize and evangelize now we get two beliefs we are a 
dedicated to every time we build a new city we're going to have that religion as part of it and we're going to have stewardship where each campus or commercial hub district in a city following this religion provides plus one to science and plus one to gold. Each bonus is important. And that gives us pl plus four to eras. As you see, the eras are really coming along. Our era, we may actually have a golden era coming up. And if we send him to Kyoto, it develops plus six food, plus three building. Sounds great to me. And in 12 turns, we can build a great library. See if that'll happen. And we, there is, don't know where, but we're going to use three of our envoys. Here, the dark brown amorphous basalt. There. We've met another, okay, that's Hong Kong. We definitely want to be friends with Hong Kong. Want to be friends with Muscat? We have another great person. Look at that, another scientist. That's a fantastic bonus. We get one random technology and plus five healing for every one of our units. And that was gunpowder we got a bonus to. Our settlers almost made it to Japan in 620 AD. Look at that bonus. Plus six to a harbor right there. It's going to be an incredible harbor. Invincibility lies in the defense. Now we can send a trader to Hong Kong, which gets plus 12 gold per turn. And, oh yeah. It's going to be beautiful. You know, we're really going to develop a navy here. Build a temple. And we finally have our last... Bonus to Magnus. There's another plus one to Eris 4. We are now at 55, which means we are going to have a golden age, which is special. Yes, let's build a settler. Let's build a town right here. What? Okay. We obviously have an error. Let's rename this. Is 
Zen Shu. All this goodness going on around us. Got tea, rice. Oh, look at that. But one another builder. And here Oh, that's all no good. The monument. Another plus two. Not all who wander. Military tactics. Another city. bonus if we develop there. Volcanic ruins. And now we have rice and tea. And look at that. It didn't even build a harbor yet. And there's that bonus for the harbor. Plus four. Obviously Japan has an interest in developing a navy. luxury resource here tea. and this town is really going off we don't have much room here but we do have one heck of a harbor tactics mean doing and we are going to develop. And you see, we get a plus one bonus to an error score for building after a natural disaster. And now we have a great merchant. I think can be redeemed here. What does he do? Gives us a hundred gold and one envoy. Now what are we gonna build in this sunny Chiba land? He wants us to build an encampment. Not yet. But we will build a commercial zone. Not where they think. Commercial zone. I know the bonus is less, but there's a reason for it. Now we're going to be an envoy, a Sun Tzu, whatever, to Bandar Bandao. Suzerain. We got the Philosopher's Stone, which is a great relic. It's placed in the capital, in the palace. The wicked king pursued the lovers Juan and Maria on his swiftest horse. As he overtook them, Maria flung down her ring and at once rose up seven tall hills. No 
hour of life is wasted. A good navy is not a pro. I tell you. We have another a relic. A martyred apostle who killed the apostle. Did you know we had any apostles out there? Now we get the bonus for construction, feudalism, which is very important. And we're going to start developing towards our MOG. Yes. Trade with us. Have lots of trade cities. Look at that. A moderate flood mitigated by the dam. We can roam the bloated stacks of the Library of Alexandria, where all imagination and knowledge are assembled. We can recognize in its destruction. Built the great the four library. building blocks of the universe. What are we going to research? Let's get shipping. We need them ships. Hardly have any units, so let's build some samurai. Barbarians are out there somewhere, believe me. Another great person and a scientist. Japan is definitely a force to be messed with. Isn't to be messed with. Build a monument. And, um... Say so building the camp right there. In case any, um... Barbarians decide to run up on us. Right here, we're going to build our first logging camp, which gives a plus one to production. But as I headed into the heart of New Zealand's Fjordland, in democracy, it's your vote. Huh. Chains of the Apostle. We're going to send this samurai out here. And like I said, he's going to build a lumber mill. Oh, it's plus two to production. And we are now going for civil service. And to build a lighthouse. Commercial zone. You know what? We're going to get rid of the deer. Build there. And Japan is trucking along. Build a shrine. We'll worry about it if we get it. If not, it's okay. We build a market in Chiba.
Look at that. We're going to build a caravel. It's going to take 13 turns to build it, but... Build him, make him a swordsman. Some ancient walls up. We are going to need a recon unit. Got to see what all this is going on up here. And we meet Germany. Yes, it's an honor to meet you. Yes, we should exchange information. It's all papers and forms. The entire... And look at that. We got a chance of getting a new government. Divine right. Which would be monarchy. Which, believe it or not, is the current... government of Japan to this day they still have well an emperor and only five turns to build a caravel it's not the towering sail You see what I just did? A little path there. I build a mark, market in Yakoti. Y I'm gonna build the lighthouse in Sunny Chiba Land. Ah, but you know what? There's a lot of resources there that I ain't built up. So we need to build a trader, a builder. Excuse me. the renaissance age the golden age so we gotta make a golden dedication look at that builders and settlers are 30% to purchase with faith and gold we have a ton of both have a friendly relationship with Germany. No grievances. They have a hidden agenda. I don't know what that is. You develop spies. I'm going to send a delegation. They welcomed them. Let's go ahead and say we're going to be friends with them. And they said yes. Can we make a military alliance? Go ahead and make the military alliance. Uh, a little bit of money. They'll accept it. And now... Germany and Japan are allies. And we can develop a ton of new people. We have a great merchant. And another great scientist. up to Kyoto. Send our... Wow. We get another great leader, and we're going to appoint name in that town? Zenshu. Our great general leader military campaign leader. The 
more science intervenes in... I conclude, then, this point touching upon the power of kings with this... Another government unlocked, and we get monarchy, which gives us more... A lot more things to mess around with. Unit maintenance. Every, every unit you have has a cost. And this gives a minus one uh, reduction per turn per unit. And um, we're also going to go with retainers, which provides an anemone with a gar garrisoned unit. In other words, it tells the people in town, hey, we're here. Of course, I haven't really left a bit of the military yet. Samurais are out. Get that apprenticeship going. Guilds sound great. Uh-oh. Our knitter is covered up. Gonna have to do some fixing, but look at that right there is more knitter. Knitter is required. Now we have our caravel. Yes, let's develop the intelligence agency. Let's see where we stand in the world. We are all range. apprentices in a craft where no one. Where do we stand in the world? We are in fourth place. Our military strength is 182, and Germany needs us. 457. If we got into war with Germany right now, um, wouldn't be very pretty. Caravel is... Get printing going. 1280 AD. Uh, 22 gold if we send a trader to Jakarta. Sounds good to me. And I now think the great expansion of the Japanese Empire will begin. And start building settlers like crazy. He can't go around arresting them. And it's moving along at um an epic pace now. We're definitely moving along. Build a monument. Now I want to send him south. that loyalty for that city and we want to develop a marg and now
Britain. Send a delegation. I don't know what happened there. Send a delegation. It does not approve. How about Russia? Send a delegation. I cannot accept. The pen might not be mightier than this. Let's get that education going. And Russia wants to send an embassy. Yes. And they want to trade one of our incense for four gold for 30 turns and open borders. They want open borders with us. Or they want, they're going to open their borders to us. We don't even have units on that side of the world. Yet. The key word is yet. So, we have our first spy. Let's send that spy to Liverpool. For some odd reason, Victoria doesn't like us. find out why and we need the forbidden city of course and we need to buy a builder we need to buy Settlers. Bye. A recon. Look at that first industrial zone. Where are we going to put it? Military leader. Send a spy to Britain. The purpose of education. that improvement. They're so far behind, don't even have astronomy. Like to the apples on the Dead Sea shore, all ashes to the taste. Ah. 
get a first mission. We gotta gain our sources. Give us a plus two operating level. 100% chance of success. The great town of Sunny Chiba. And build a great lighthouse. Should give us plus one to all of our naval units. Now this is all means a little bit more. Do not care. But recon units can use a bonus. And we won all of them. build a monastery here. Yes. Woods and rainforest sounds good. Build a university. Two bonus to a campus. Parallels moving along. that more whales and now we have an admiral great admiral and instantly will create a privateer sounds good to me So now we've got a settler. I'm really wondering where all these barbarians are. That would be the west coast of the United States right here. Develop a uh, monument here. Diplomat is a man who... And... Where else are we going to send this guy? I'll send him to explore Australia. Again. 
Well, anyway, guys, it's been an hour and a half, and I think that's a good enough time to pause the game at this point. We're going to pause it, and uh, we'll continue later. And I uh, do thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit, hit that subscribe button. Like it if you like it. Don't if you don't. It's great. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And have a great day.